AkronHipHop.com, the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. Look who's in the building. I'm excited. Stepping Stone is in the building. Did you? I thought it was the Stepping Stone Foundation, but that's not the case. We just did an article. Exactly what's the name of the business? I did change the name of the business. It's Stepping Stone Community Services. So it was foundation. It was. We oh. had to make some adjustments. I was like, I was, upgra I was upgrading <laughs> the ads on the website. I'm like, wait a minute. They done pulled a two. A change on me and everything. We did, we did. So listen, everybody is. Um, I like to say you you are ahead of your time when it comes to me. Okay. Okay. Last year when you came on board, we was talking about. I was excited. You was excited. Yes, I was. But now the people in the network in the Mecca Media Community Network are excited that we're offering mental health awareness guidance and knowledge. In the yes. form of you. Yes. Tell somebody what you do. So we are mental health therapy. We do individual, couples, group uh, counseling for all kinds of mental health issues. Uh, depression, anxiety, uh, grief, um, you know, all that relationship stuff that seems to crop yeah. up in everybody's life. So a little bit of everything. So you mean to tell me, hold on, hold on, mental health which is you, you know, mental health therapist. Is that, am I saying this right? You're saying that right. Okay. And you help people with their relationships. Absolutely. So what's the connection? So I'm, I'm crazy? <laughs> what's going on? Explain that to me. So I think, you know, luckily the trend has been moving from just thinking mental health is severe, maybe schizophrenia for people that have hallucinations, delusions, um, or severe depression or severe anxiety. And although all of that is mental health, you know, everybody has mental health. Just like we all have physical health concerns and we're all trying to do better for our body, hopefully we're all trying to do a little better for our mental health as well. And especially living in such a stressful society um, with just so much going on in the political environment, um, trauma as far as, you know, things going on in our schools, just out in the community, that basically everyone has mental health issues at this point. You know what, you just educated me on something. Anytime I hear the word mental health, I think I'm hearing mental health issues. That's not what's going on here. Mental health is like physical health. Uh, it's just another, not physical health issues, it's just what it is, you're saying what you mean. Right. Mental health is supposed to be you're supposed to be healthy. You want to work on that. Absolutely. Do the things that's conducive to make that thing healthy, right? Right. So, but if I come to you with a mental health issue, something totally different than saying you're in the business of mental health. You're a mental health coach. There you go. That's a good way to you're look coach. at it. You're yeah. working out. Okay. Oh, you're, the, you're the person in the gym yeah. getting the Okay, you're a trainer. That's an awesome way to look at it. You know, I myself have always been involved in very physical sports throughout my life. I've Played volleyball, softball, basketball. You used to do, you used to do karate. Arts. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And anybody that, especially martial arts, but any athlete knows that not only do you have to be physically healthy for the sport, your head has to be in that game as well. So that applies to all of life. You know, you go to work and you're on a job, you physically need to keep up at work, but also mentally just dealing with co-workers, deadlines, you know, the pressure of being at work, whatever kind of work that is. So, yeah, mental health is, is much broader than the way we used to think about it. And I think that's a good thing. You know, a lot of times people will come up to me when I do events and like I did an event today and they're like, I'm not sure if this is mental health or they'll say, you know, this isn't really, you know, severe enough for what you do. And I'm like, take that out of the picture. There's no severity at all it's about what you need what feels good for you mentally okay let's go there you and i let's just let's just go there okay okay um listen here doc okay i'm having an issue uh for some damn reason i stink in relationships every time i turn around zubaldilia gertrude pam and penelope are all saying the same thing now, in my mind, I don't think I'm wrong. Is that a mental issue? Is that is that considered a mental issue if I think, seriously, I can't keep a relationship going? Well, let me tell you. I mean, as human beings, that is the core of our existence, is relating to other people. 
I mean, we do it every day, whether that's romantically, whether that's friendships, whether that's coworkers, whether that's just standing in line at the grocery store and talking to people. You know, we're very relational people. And most of us have struggles when it comes to keeping up relationships because we're selfish people <laughs> by nature. So we see things through our point of view and we have difficulty taking that and seeing it through someone else's point of view. So there's always those miscommunications. Well, you know, uh, I may think a relationship should be spending 80% of our time together, whereas my partner may say, no, no, 50% of our time is good. You know, so there's so many different things to work out in relationships. And, you know, so I, I got a question. <laughs> yeah. I know your partner, right? Uh -huh. Laid back guy. Okay. Yes, he is. <laughs> You got the knowledge you can't get in college. He's laid back, right? right. So the question is, I want to know, it's impossible. I see the child yelling. You can actually, we're that comfortable. You got to wait. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, protect, well, yeah, we're comfortable. You at home, Bethany, okay? So check this out. Um, it's impossible for you to get into an argument. That means you see it coming from a mile away. You entertain his arguments. Is that what you think? <laughs> you see it from, I was like, man, don't start. Is that what you you can see it coming like that, huh? Well, you know what? Most of us, we don't want to look bad in an argument, so we use a lot of defense mechanisms. You know, we try to explain ourselves, or we justify, or we blame something else. And again, that just kind of uh, convolutes the argument, makes it worse. The other person doesn't think that we are getting them at all, you know, and no, so no. it just keeps it going. No, 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 no. I see going. what you're doing. I'm trying to bring it direct. <laughs> When you oh. and your dude is going through some issues, you can see it brewing before it's brewing. Like you, because you, because you're not. You say, "Oh my God, here it is. Uh, it's coming. How do I get out of this?" Or do I say, "Now listen, I know you're not coming here with that BS." How do you? I mean, how do you relate when you know the knowledge and you have the insight for that? How do you you let the arguments go because it's natural? So here's the truth. My husband is an excellent communicator. And rarely, I'm not going to say always, but rarely, it's not him, it's me. What? <laughs> I am more argumentative, and I will kind of stir things up. That's kind of more my nature. So a lot of times, if I find myself being a little more defensive or trying to justify my actions, I try to think, okay, well, what is he really trying to say? And how do I just be a better listener to him? Man. Doesn't always go that smooth. No, but but you know, you know what? But you, you know that. Secrets. You know that. Now listen, this is game. My man just said you're giving away the secret. Somebody need to be. Pay. I will pay for that right there. That's good when you're dealing with somebody that know and understand what's happening as it's unfolding. The arguments won't become full blown production. Right. But listen to this, Hiram. Don't we always want to be heard? That's the number one thing. You know, if I express myself and I'm angry and I'm trying to express why I'm angry, what I really want is for you to hear what I'm saying and then just validate me in that, that you hear me. So the number one thing you can do in a relationship is just to listen to that person and say, you know what? I hear you're angry. I hear you are... Oh, she's dropping jewels here you know, today. You're just... <laughs> she's dropping jewels. You know what I usually say? What's that? I say, listen, you're hearing me. I just want you to understand me. Right. Do you see all these dictionaries in here? Do you see? This is no joke. I, I, I am huge. I'm like your guy, okay? I want you to... I, first off, I want to understand what you're saying. Right. And I really need for you to understand what I'm saying. Right. I'm, I, I got the... I got everything but the Ebonic Dictionary in here <laughs> because I got that already in a smash, okay? But I got the Merriman Dictionary. I got... You the source. I got, I'm trying to convey what I'm saying. Now, right. you can hear me, but I want you to understand me. That don't mean sure. you have to agree. Right. I just want, I want you to have a full understanding of what I'm right. saying so when you are disagreeing, I can understand you just ain't buying what it is I'm selling. Right. Is that wrong to have that mentality? I just want you to understand what I'm saying. No, I think that's what builds the connection in the relationship. Oh, so I'm right. You're right. Well, you know what? <laughs> You're darn tootin' I'm right. And I'm about to give it up to the doc and everything. But listen, if someone needs this knowledge and everything, first off, sidebar. That's all I ever wanted to hear a woman tell me I was right for one thing. <laughs> Somebody else's woman had to tell me that. But I know I'm not wrong. And she said communication is the key. Right. And I am the grand communicator. Isn't it obvious? 
Oh, okay. Bethany, tell somebody how to get in contact with you. Well, you can check out our website. That's ssravenna.com. You can call us at 330-577-6656. Uh, you can email at steppingstonellc at hotmail.com. All right. Listen, until next time, have some fun and get something done. Peace.